everybody thanks for wandering back out to the digital hermitage i'm the hermit you can call me hiccup and guys we're gonna get one more day of side missions in here before we go and give camden dr zare's research we have a couple of med kits saved up and we have found a few pieces of alcohol but i didn't get a whole lot of time to play in between cuts so we're gonna have to go and uh, collect some more stuff today because we definitely need more med kits and i really need molotovs like we just need molotovs and firecrackers so Let's get out here and see if we can find us another side mission or two so we can collect some stuff, get some rewards, and maybe get us a really awesome weapon to bring with us into this into this last little leg of the game here. But uh, let's get down off of here and see if we can find us a side quest. Where? Ow! I didn't think that was that far of a fall, but anyway. <laughs> Alright, let me look at the map. Let's find us some side quests, because I don't think there are any here at the loft anymore. Oh, looks like we've got a couple over here. Let's go ahead and try and make our way out there. Also one out there. All right, so not too many side quests, guys. Let's see if we can finish up this whole area of side quests, and then we can move on and go help Camden. Ha, got it, nice. Let's get moving. Oh, I hear a toad already. Oh, guys, don't mind me. I'm gonna duck in here and see if we can find us some stuff. Not what I'm looking for. Not what we're looking for. Guys, why is alcohol so rare? Give me a leg up. Thanks, pal. All right. Woo. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Great. Nice jump, buddy. Oh, I caught that zip line. Oh, okay. Guys, me and my twitchy fingers. Why does that happen with me and zip lines all the time? And leap. There we go. Oh, hey, it's the university. Yeah, we've got a couple of side missions in here. It's been a while since we've been back here. Ow. Really? Where is he? Man, toads are annoying. All right. Yeah, who needs us to do what down here? Somebody needs some help? It's a nice place you got going here. Need some help there? Hey, one more thing. Yeah? You ever use a rifle out there? If you do, you should see our gunsmith, Rupert. That guy can craft a howitzer from a popgun. A silencer would be more useful, but where would I find him? Well, that's the thing. He hasn't been in his workshop for a while. You might want to try his flat. Maybe I'll do that. Oh my gosh, yeah, if we could go get silencers, that'd be amazing. Try him in his flat. Rupert the gunsmith. We're definitely gonna go do this one. All right, let's go see if we can track down Rupert. Is that the only mission here? Huh, odd. I could have sworn I've, I saw two missions here before we got here, but uh, anyway. All right, let's go track down Rupert. Let's do this. This direction? All right, let's get going. Hopefully it'll be an easy run. Uh, how about no? Man, <laughs> I'm so bad with that kick. Guys, I just need to stop using it. Oh. Nasty Toad. We just need to stop using that kick. I apparently cannot land that thing. Perfect. There we go. Oh, wait. We just passed it. Rupert the Gunsmith, huh? This is his apartment building. Let's go ahead and climb the building. Uh oh. They're hurling blades at us and stuff. Oh man, we gotta go inside. All right, here we go. Yay, tight spaces, zombies. That's what we love. Hey. Lots of lockers. Guys, I'm gonna go on a little searching spree here for a second. All right, we did manage to find a bunch of household supplies and some string, like lots of string. All right. Should have known it wasn't gonna be that easy.
Hey, we have kids in here. Who are you? What is going on here? I'm Crane. I was looking for Rupert. No, you weren't. You were looking for a gunsmith who happens to be named Rupert. Hey, fair enough. I'd like to talk about some weapon modifications. You work for Rise? No. Hmm. Well, I suppose that helps. But I'm waiting for my wife Jasmine to come back. Until she's here, I can't leave. Has she been gone long? No, not long. So it'll probably be a while before she returns. And what about these kids? Are their parents... Dead, I hope. Every day, I'm terrified that one of them is going to look out the window and see their mother or father shambling down the street. Uh, I don't know what I'm yeah. going to do when that happens. What have you told them? Half-truths. That a dark magic has taken over the city, but that I am a good wizard who can protect them. It's the sort of game that doesn't end. Jasmine is better at this sort of thing. Hell, I'm a gunsmith. What am I doing playing this magical nonsense? Seems to me you're doing pretty well. Well, I'm not. There's a girl named Isla. She's a diabetic. Only her insulin ran out a while ago. Now her blood sugar is sky high. She's dehydrated and exhausted. Jasmine says if she doesn't get some insulin soon, she'll slip into a coma and die. And here I am in this stupid wizard hat, and the kids are waiting for me to cure her with a magic potion. Maybe it's time to tell them the truth. There is no good magic, only the dark kind. Take it easy, Rupert. There's a drugstore in town. Maybe I can find some insulin there. Are you serious? Mister, if you could do that, I can't tell you how grateful I'd be. I've got a radio here. If my wife Jasmine comes back, I'll probably go home for a while. But I'll let you know before I leave. Alright. Health potion. Let's go get us a health potion for the little kiddo. Absolutely. Oh, guys, before we get out here, let's go ahead and level up some of our skills. Yeah. What do we got new in fighter? We're going to get the stun kill. That's going to make killing zombies a lot faster, a lot easier. Oh, agility. We got two points in agility, guys. Oh, perfect. We just got the thing where we can instantly kill zombies we stun and we've got a bunch of stun. We got the reversal stun for escaping and the vault stun when we jump over a zombie. It's going to be perfect. And then survival here. We should get the grenades. I'm really just not a big fan of the grappling hook, but I guess we kind of have to get it to unlock the craftsman. So, you know, let's just go ahead and get it. Yeah. Ah, yes. Craftsman next for sure. Ah, both of those are really good. Both of those are really good. We'll get around to them. Okay. Oh, there's two icons. All right. Well, ow. Oh, I can hear one of those crying kids. How about let's not? How about let's not? All right, making our way out to the first. Whoa. <laughs> what was that? Making our way out to the first pharmacy here. Uh, I think we found it! And of course, it's going to be covered, covered from top to bottom, huh? Oh, of course. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. All right, we're going to have to make a run and come back. Oh, wow. We have no firecrackers or anything to work with, guys. This is really bad. Oh, this is exactly why we need these kind of tools. Oh, this is bad, guys. Hello! Ah, <laughs> nice slide. Okay. This is getting rather ridiculous. OK, 
Hey, the alarm stopped. Oh, are they fighting the big guy out here, man? You guys here really gotta stop doing stuff like that. Okay, I think we've given them the slip. Let's just go ahead and see if we can rush into the pharmacy, get what we need, and get out. Oh, there's a counter to hide behind, too. That's good. Is he still down? Oh, this is like a back door. We don't want to open that yet, guys. Oh my gosh, what was that? No. Camouflage, actually, guys, would be good. Crap. Come on. I'm not seeing anything, guys. Oh. Nothing. And a bunch of nothing. Wait. Nope, just gauze. What else can we open? Nothing. Alright. No one's in here. Yeah, why would it be in the first place we look? You know, it's never in the first place we look. Oh gosh. Glad they're calling all the attention to themselves. That's gonna make this a lot easier. How are we getting in here? First, we could probably use some camouflage. Let's go ahead and try to get one of them. At least one down. Okay, we got our camouflage. All right, this is the drugstore, so how are we supposed to get in? Oh, is there an entrance on this side? Oh my gosh, guys, they are shooting right behind us. If they notice us, if the zombies don't distract them. Can I close this door? Okay. Oh. Can they open the door, though? That's the next question. I mean... I hope not. <laughs> I love doors. Doors stop everything. Okay. Okay. Now we can search this place in peace, I think. Until they open the I door. Any insulin. No insulin here either? Troy, can you hear me? It's Crane. Yes, Crane. What do you need? There's a bunch of kids in the Magic Fortress. Did you know about this? It's news to me. We thought that place was empty. Oh crap, guys. From what I've seen, yes. It's going to take time to get anyone over there. Understood. I'll stay until someone arrives. Hey, look, in the meantime, I need insulin. I'm at the drugstore now, but it's been picked clean. Maybe you could check and see if the computer works. There should be records of people who bought the insulin last, along with their addresses. Maybe they still have it? Thanks, Troy. Out. Not a bad idea. Rupert, this is Crane. Look, no luck here. Damn it. Isla's lying down. She doesn't look right. I think we're almost out of time. Oh, but there is a receipt here for insulin sold to someone named Ekram Bozkurt. That ring a bell? That's Isla's father. Maybe he left the insulin at their home. His address is on the receipt. All right, I'll head over and have a look. Oh, boy. All right, guys, now we're going to have to open this door and really sneak out of here really fast. So many of Ryza's men are on the other side of this door. You see that? Yeah, nope, you saw nothing. You saw nothing! <laughs> oh, man! Okay, we're good. All right. Let's get out to the house and see if we can pick up that insulin. Nice. Nicely done, Crane. I'm assuming this would be the apartment. 
Alright. Let's fix our weapon real quick while we have a moment. Hello, hello? Anybody home? Oh. That's good. Nope. Okay, they know we're here. Sorry. Please let that be the only one. Entering dark area. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Just let them come to me. Nice. Right, let's grab some camouflage. Oh, too late for that. Nope, not too late for that. Shows what you know, pal. All right. Rika, I'm driving to the pharmacy to get Alia's medication, then to Farhat Pizzeria, and then I'll pick up Alia from daycare. We should be home with dinner by six. We love you, my darling, Ekram. So we got to the pharmacy, but he never picked up his daughter. Rupert, where's Farhat Pizzeria? What? Just get me the address. It's near the Magic Fortress on Mercantile Street. All right, guess we're going to pick up some pizza next. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's an interesting way to cross the water there. Oh, guys, it's getting to be nighttime. Why haven't we been running around at nighttime? We should have been. Oh, my gosh. That was a little too close. Oh, this is really bad. Oh, this is really bad. We're going to need some camouflage immediately. We're going to need camouflage right now. Camouflage, camouflage. Hurry before more come. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. What? How do you know? Shut up. Shut up. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm assuming we need to search bodies, which is unfortunate. Oh, would this be him? Buried underneath all the bodies. Ugh, come on! Why are these guys so tough still? Alright, we got the insulin. Alright, we gotta get back to the apartment. Alright, not difficult to get back here at all. We were really close. Hey, we got it! We finally found- Where- Where'd everybody go? Oh, okay. I can't believe you've done it! Will she be alright? Yes, yes, it's exactly what she needs! I'll take care of Isla, but could you keep the other children busy while I'm with her? Yeah, well, I'm- I'm really- I'm pretty busy. Just talk to them. That's all you need to do. I've already told them you're a great warrior, like a knight. You did? When's your wife coming back? You'll be fine. I just need a few minutes. Children! This heroic warrior has returned with a healing elixir for Isla. Now he's going to stay here and be your protector while I administer the elixir to Isla. Well now, hang on, wait. I won't be long. Oh gosh, everybody always just sign and crane up for stuff. <laughs> Looks like we have a mission. Hey there, bud. What's your name? Kadim. Kadim. I like that name. I have a secret. Really? Yeah, well, so do I. What's your secret? I'm a GRE agent. What do you got? Can you get my blocks for me? But that's that's not really a secret. <laughs> some of them are downstairs, near the basement. And Mr. Rupert said we're not ever to go near the basement. Not ever. But I went down there just to see. And I heard a scary sound. And I kind of dropped my blocks. <laughs> They're kind of all over. Could you get them back for me? Huh. That's a tall order. 
but I'll give it a shot. All right, let's go get some blocks for the kiddo. Oh, hey, there's one right here. Little blocks all over the place, huh? More blocks. Dude, this kid had blocks everywhere. We've got one zombie in the basement. But we've got all the blocks back. Well, that was easy. Here you go, Kadeem. All blocks accounted for. Thanks. Hey, are you going to tell Rupert about this? So, will you keep my secret? That you work for the... Who is that again? Your secret's safe, Kadeem. But I'm going to talk to Rupert about those noises in the basement. I heard them too. Yeah, about that. About that, Rupert. Isla's okay. She's sleeping now. She'll need some time to fully recover. Thank you again, Mr. Crane. My wife Jasmine should be back any time now, and since I know how tiring these kids can be, I'm sure you'll be wanting to move on. No, not just yet. But, well, our supplies are very limited. Look, this is too much responsibility for one person, Rupert. I've sent for help. They'll be here soon. That's not necessary. Jasmine and I can handle things just fine. Rupert, I was downstairs. Oh, I see. I'm, I'm sorry, Rupert. Sometimes in those noises, I think I can still hear a tiny trace of her voice. I was hoping it would be over by now, but I couldn't do it. My wife, my beautiful, beautiful Jasmine. Oh. This has to end. I would let her kill me before I would lift a finger to harm her. Just give me the basement key. Crane's doing all the hard stuff, man. Ah, we've used up all the med kits in this episode. You know, I just can't keep med kits on me. I can't. It's impossible. Oh boy. Time for some zombie killing. In tight spaces. My favorite. Is there one zombie down here? Be at all. Got another locked door? Nope, can't go that way. Oh, I see. Alright, we're gonna have to open this thing. There we go. And then. Yeah, there we go. It's really dark in here. But the electric trap out here should be down. Yep. What? Yeah, I thought I heard people in there. Or is it just the one zombie? Sorry about this. We'll make it quick. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was checking for mementos. You never know. Rupert may have wanted some. Something off of her. I don't know. White cheddar cheese. Alright, let's get back to Rupert. Sorry, buddy. Did you find her? Were you able to help her? She has peace now. 
Thank you from both of us. I hope somewhere I may find forgiveness for what I did, for what I couldn't do. <laughs> ah, it's another one of those bittersweet missions, guys. You know, you always feel good about helping people, but at the same time, sometimes you just got it. They ask Crane to do the hard things. They do. Guys, I can only see one more side mission on this map. There's only one left. I think we're going to go ahead and go take care of that. I'm, I don't know. Maybe more unlock in, in a little bit, but as of right now, I can only see the one. So we're going to go ahead, find our way out here. We're going to go ahead and do that one today, too. And the next time, we'll definitely move on and we'll go bring Camden, Dr. Zare's research. Enough putting that off. We'll either have found what we need for tools and supplies, or we won't. <laughs> and we'll make do. Oh, we got another mission out here somewhere. Oh, more? Oh, yeah, the kid. I forgot about this one. Guys, we're just helping kids out today. Where'd you find him? He just showed up. He barely talks, and when he does, he says some strange things. A lot of it is about someone named Mike. The only thing he had with him was this voice recorder. But this fella, Mike, it might be his brother. The kid says he left him behind. He asked me to go get him, but I don't think I can do it. It's too dangerous to take him with me, and I don't want to leave him here alone. You know where he lived? Dolma Street, Unit 11-2. Okay, maybe I'll check it out. Keep this recorder. Maybe it'll help you understand what happened there. All right, going and tracking down the little boy's brother, supposedly. Let's get to it, guys. Well, that's not good. We need a better way to cross here. Here we go. There we go. Didn't even check to see how far away this place is on the map, but that's okay. Go ahead and give us a look-see around. Uh, okay, so we do want to cross here somewhere at some point, which we should probably do now. Yeah. Let's go ahead and cross here where the, yeah, where the climb is easy. Yeah, that splash didn't draw any attention. I'm glad. Can we grab a ledge? Thank you, Crane. I'm glad that splash didn't cause any, you know, attract any attention. Oh, that's a bad one right there. Oh, we're in trouble now. Oh, we got away in time. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Crane finally got wore out. Oh, I don't have time to shop. Okay, we made it. it. Wasn't too bad. Actually, pretty super uneventful, actually. Oh! Okay! What hit me? Holy crap! Well then, really not sure what, I mean, I know he was about to start chasing us, but he wasn't anywhere near us. Did he throw something at us? Did he kill us by throwing pebbles? Crap. Well, that stinks. That was, that was absolutely no good, guys. Let's try this again, shall we? Oh, crap, Crane! Wow. Oh, no, not again. Don't, don't call attention to ourselves. Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, double crap. <laughs> this way we might be in trouble okay okay nope get inside get inside <laughs> okay oh man Whew. okay 
Hello? Is there anyone here? Well, we haven't seen a whole lot of... Oh, well, I was gonna say we haven't seen a whole lot of blood, but, uh... Let's see what this says. See what what says? Oh, the recorder. Detective Julie and his assistant begin their search for the missing person of Dolma Street. Oh, come on, you have to help me. Dad's been out all day. Come on, we're going to find him. The missing person of interest went out very normally to get some food, only to become missing under mysterious circumstances. Mike and Tom Dooley are sent to look for clues in the other apartments. Oh no. Alright boys, you were playing detective. What happened next? Flat number three is locked. Maybe the strange man who lives there has seen something, or maybe he saw too much. We will interrogate him later. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Got us a nice little detective story. I love it. Okay, what now? Detective Julie reporting. I'm entering the basement to check the trace. Mike, are you here? Mike, is that you? Oh boy. No, it's locked. Oh, alright. Gotta go search the third apartment for keys. Let's get up here. right by him. Jeez. Alright. Let's go check out this storage room. Alright. Make sure the flashlight's got a full charge. Oh, Jesus. think you're about one step away from being a zombie yourself there, pal. Really? Sick dude. Case closed. God hammer. Okay. Well, we may have to get us a new hammer weapon and make that. That could be exciting. Uh, disgusting. Disgusting, my man. All right, well, let's get the dog collar back to our buddy. And get the heck out of here. All right, can we get back without getting caught? Let's try to get all the way back without getting into trouble, shall we? 
<laughs> nice! We made it back. Alright! Not so bad. <laughs> You're back. Did you find Mike? Mike was his dog. He's dead. And so is his father. It wasn't even the infected, it was just some twisted creep. Oh, this place. It's too much for people. Listen, Crane. These are the keys to the museum storage. There's a lot of weapons from all different times. Maybe you'll find something useful there. Thanks, Tariq. Hey, but there's something else I want from you. Sure. Anything. You said you're not good with kids? No, not really. Well, get good. I will try. I give you my word. Oh, man. Oh, man, we can go get rewarded for this? Oh, okay, it's gonna make for a little bit of a lengthy episode. But guys, let's go check out what these, uh, what these weapons and this reward is. I'm kind of really excited to see what, it, what, what it's gonna give us here. Hopefully we don't get ourselves killed trying to get out here <laughs> to find out what this is. All right, I'm gonna try and make this a pretty uneventful run. So hopefully I can just get out to the museum again and really sneak in and we won't have any troubles. Oh, no, we're getting there. We're going all right. We're, we're doing all right. Okay, guys, I think we're about halfway there, but uh, it's been a pretty uneventful run, actually, thankfully. Pretty smooth. Uh, the sun is coming up. Makes it a little easier to spot all of the volatiles before they spot me, so I've been able to dodge them all pretty easily. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We don't need to take the underwater route in. We we can just get up into the normal entrance now. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Getting into the normal entrance will be impossible if we are spotted and chased by the volatile army, so we're going to have to find a sneaky way up. Hopefully up the side of this cliff face here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you hear him? Can you hear him? That's him. Okay. Oh, no, we have some up here, too. Oh, my gosh, there's too many. Why are there so many? Okay, we're here. We made it. We made it. Knights survive! We did it! Yeah! How many points are we gonna get? That's not too many. That is. That really wasn't too many. Alright, where are we going? Okay, well, I thought we could just walk it back into the museum this way, but I guess it's not going to let us do that. Um, I'm going to have to find an alternate way in. I guess I'm going to go down and try to do the underwater way in again. We'll see if we can get back inside and... Uh... Yeah! Ooh, that was a little too close there, wasn't it? All right, let me swim through this, see if we can get back inside. Okay, we're in. Oh! Oh, look at this. Very nice. Well, let's see what kind of goodies we've got in here. Guys, let's just go on a looting spree. Whoa, yellow stripe handsaw. That's an interesting weapon. All right, yeah, we're going to find some good stuff in here, hopefully. Ron Striker's bad. Not bad, not bad. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, yes, the Kopesh. I definitely want to use one of those. May have to make that the next weapon we level up and make something awesome out of. That's a crappy weapon. Oh, man, that's everything? That's awesome. Well... That was pretty, that was totally worth it. Oh my gosh. All right, we out, we're out. That's enough of that. Oh, well guys, that was super exciting. We got some really awesome weapons just then. Yeah, wow, that hand stripe saw is really powerful. And guys, hopefully, oh, a flap, we can make a flap cap. Oh, a medium, medium, uh, Bleeding. Oh, that, that'll that be nice. We should definitely do that. Oh, an true action electrical baseball bat. Definitely doing that. 
Probably make another flap gap. Guys, yeah, these are going to be great weapons. We'll level these up in the next episode. I'm going to go ahead and let all that wrap up today's episode, guys. That was a lot of fun. A couple of kind of like dark but adorable dark episodes. I don't know. They had sour endings, but they were for kids, and we helped everybody out. It felt good. Always good to help everybody out. But anyway, guys, if you had fun hanging out with me today, do me a favor. Smash that like button and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more adventures in Haran. Next time, we'll be getting Dr. Zare's... Uh, infected samples over to Dr. Camden and uh, hopefully he'll be able to find a cure and we'll be able to kind of fix things around here a little more than just kind of putting band-aids because as much as we're going around helping people that's really just putting band-aids on all these big problems you know so hopefully if we get Dr. Zare's research to Dr. Camden and all of that will turn around and things will be for the better but yeah, we'll get into that in the next episode, guys. I'm going to go ahead and scavenge a little bit. We'll hopefully be able to make some Molotovs and some Kurtz bombs and some firecrackers. We're going to need a bunch of stuff if we're going to be able to survive in that tight little space. May even try and craft up one of those Dahlia potions because if we're going to be crawling through a lot of zombies in a tight space, that might be worth having. And we haven't used one of those. You thought I forgot about it, didn't you? <laughs> well, I didn't. But we're going to make some. We're going to use them in the next episode. It'll be great, but... Anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll catch you in the next episode, and as always, have a great rest of your day.